Occupational English Test is an international English language proficiency assessment that evaluates how well a healthcare professional can communicate in English. This is usually a requirement for professionals who plan to practice in an English-speaking environment. OET assesses your skills in four key areas, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Since it is designed specifically for healthcare professionals, the exam structure will revolve in various healthcare settings. Let's discuss this one by one. The listening component will test your ability to understand spoken English. It is divided into three parts lasting for 45 minutes. There are a total of 42 questions and you will only hear the recording once. Hence, you should write your answer as you listen. In Part A, you will listen to two consultations and fill in the blanks to complete the health professional's notes with the information you hear. There will be a total of 24 answers for this part. In Part B, you will listen to six extracts and your task is to identify the gist, purpose, or opinion of these dialogues. You have to answer one multiple choice question for each extract. In Part C, you will listen to one presentation or interview that you should follow as you answer six multiple-choice questions. The reading subtest has three parts as well, lasting for 60 minutes in total. In this section, you will be provided with texts about various healthcare-related topics. Part A is done on a separate worksheet where you are presented with four different texts. It can include a diagram, flowchart, or table. Your task is to find the specific information fast as you are only given 15 minutes to answer 20 questions consisting of matching type, sentence completion, and short answer questions. Afterwards, all booklets will be submitted so you won't be able to review your answers anymore. Part B consists of six short texts from a healthcare workplace where you will have one multiple choice question with three options for each text. This subtest aims to evaluate your ability to recognize the main point or detail from different extracts. Meanwhile, Part C covers two long texts divided into paragraphs and you will get eight multiple choice questions with four options. This assesses your ability to identify detailed meaning. There are also one to two questions that will ask the context of a word or phrase used in a paragraph. You have 45 minutes to complete parts B and C, so make sure to monitor your time carefully. The writing part takes a total of 45 minutes and is specific to your profession. In the subtest, you will be provided with a case note and a task. You are given 5 minutes to read through them and during that time, you are not allowed to use a pen or a pencil. Subsequently, you are given 40 minutes to write a letter. It can be a letter of discharge, referral, or transfer. This part is usually the most challenging across all professions. Hence, we strongly advise to do multiple practice tests before the actual exam. Your performance is scored against the following measures. To know more about these criterion, check the link below. The speaking section is conducted individually and it takes around 20 minutes. This is likewise profession-specific. You will participate in two audio recorded role plays where you take your professional role and the interlocutor will play as a patient, relative, or caregiver. The role plays are based on usual workplace scenarios. This will start with a quick identity check and short warm-up conversation with the interlocutor which will not be graded. After that, you will get a card containing the setting patient's information, and your tasks as a healthcare professional. You will be given 3 minutes of preparation and 5 minutes of actual performance for each roleplay. Note that the second roleplay is usually in a different setting, different patient, and different set of tasks. 
The audio recording is then sent for grading by a minimum of two trained OET assessors. Hence, your interlocutor plays no role in the assessment of your performance. You will be assessed for two different categories, linguistic and clinical communication. You can check out the link below to know more about this. IMGs are required to score a minimum of 350 or grade B on each of the four components of the OET exam. If you fail to get the minimum score in one test administration, then you will have to take the exam again. You are not allowed to repeat only a specific part of the OET. But some registration boards allow you to combine your OET results from two different settings. This means that if you are just short in one subtest, meaning you had a grade C, you can take the OET again and if you achieve the minimum score for the second time, you can combine these two OET results and apply for registration. However, this does not apply to all professions. The General Medical Council does not allow combining OET test results. On the other hand, the NMC accepts combining two past OET results provided that the two sittings are within six months and with no less than a score below C+. You can book your exam at the OET website by setting up your account at My OET Login. Then, Complete the pre-registration form and find a suitable date and venue. Finally, proceed to payment.